Good evening. We'll start with the question of Zane Crux. Hey, Ronnie. Uh, congrats. Uh, despite the score line, what was it that uh, pleased you the most about the game? What were you happiest with? I think we had full control of the game. I think defensively they didn't create anything. Even though and then they get, uh, we get 10 men, we were really solid and uh, disciplined and compact. Uh, so that was very pleasing and also the big chances we created as well. We had many chances we should have scored a little bit more. But uh, we, uh, when we get through the uh, front uh, players, then we created chances uh, over and over again. And that's, uh, that's a good thing. John, go ahead. We move to Michael Allen. Yeah, Ronnie, uh, nice result out there tonight. I'm um, just wondering if you could give us uh, some thoughts about, uh, it looked like the team may have been shaking off some rust back there at the back line. And then um, how does the red card to Santi affect the, the thinking for the next match? I think you know it's a tough always the first game, um, and they were very deep. They play five four one. It's always tough to to break down a team like that. I think we opened them up a lot of times. Um, so and defensively, I think we had uh, good control. It was just uh, when we gave away the ball um, a couple of times in the first half in, in a little bit dangerous situation, they they had something. And uh, the red card is not a red card. It's uh, I can't see how it's possible to give a red card in that. So. He stands on his feet, his ball is between. He, I think he wins the ball. So, but uh, maybe I haven't seen a picture that uh, others have seen. But uh, what I've seen is uh, I can't understand that uh, you can get a red card in, uh, in these situations. Charles Boyle. Hey, Coach, um, I wanted to ask you about Gideon Zolo. Uh, it seems like he's, he's uh, winning you over, getting some minutes. What did you think of his performance tonight? And what are you seeing from him that's leading you to, to trust him in these games? I believe in Gideon all the time. He's been here already in two years, you know, so, but he's been injured all the time. Uh, we, the reason we have a captain is because we know when he's injury free, he has a quality that a uh, few other players have in this league. Technically, very, very gifted. He's um, good awareness, good understanding of the game. So he still would need to work on his. Uh, Defense play, and I think that's improving as well. Also, so um, you know, I have a lot of expectation for for Gideon in the future. Um, this is the second game in a row now. He third game, and he's been involved in as a full preseason. So it's um, been out for so many years. It's um, it will take some time, but um, he's on the on the right uh, he's on the right um, path to to get his um, get, get back to the level he's been before. We'll take two more questions. Chris Campbell, and we'll finalize with Michael Pander. Chris, go ahead. Hey, Ronnie. Um, congrats on the win. It seemed like the fullbacks weren't quite as advanced as they typically are in, you, in your setup tonight. Um, was that something, you know, a game, part of the game plan coming in tonight, or was that something in response to what the opponent was doing? Uh, something they, they did. We always want to have a full fullbacks forward, but when you have a back five, it's tough. You create six, six, seven, eight big chances, then you can't expect anything more. Whatever the opponent you play against, they have zero chances. Maybe a little one in the end there on the, the corner kicks there. That was the that was the only they had for 90 minutes. So uh, that was a professional uh, performance, um, and uh, the fullback uh, don't come in play so much when you when you. And you don't get switches as enough uh, in the play because uh, you have to also have offensive marking when you attack. We finalize with Michael Anderer. Michael, go ahead. Hey, Ronnie, uh, great result tonight. Uh, on Tati's second goal, it seemed like it was a very reactionary goal. Just curious, you talked the other yesterday about how the team only having a, a short amount of time off. Uh, made them sharper. Did you think that that was a uh, a sign of that? That Tati was able to pull that trigger real quick. I think some of our play. What we struggled a little bit with today was to play through the midfield. Uh, when we first played through the midfield, we created chances all the time. I think Santi was 
really good Maxi was uh, top and and Tal uh, and Talis and and, and um, Tati. Those four together was uh, they, they open them up every time they get uh, turned in uh, between the lines. So it uh, it's going to be tough for defending uh, the, the other team to defend uh, against us when we when our, uh, when we get more play together with these uh, these players. Thank you so much. Now we would like to invite player Maxine Chanel. Thank you.